We made the film for several reasons. One was to really um, have, have a work in Garifuna language, um, to show that the Garifuna language is something to really be elevated, that it's, that it's a worthy language to do a film in. So hopefully people see it and say, wow, okay, uh, I didn't think, um, you know, is Garifuna a really important language to learn? Um, yes, it is. It's important to, it's, if it's important enough to put in a film, um, it's important enough to, to have as part of your life. So um, we, wanted to, we wanted to have an example of kind of taking it seriously, you know. Garifuna language could be used for anything. It's not just for in your home talking to your grandmother. It's for, uh, it's something that you use in, in life. It's just up to all of us to put it to use and realize that it's an asset. Having this culture and this language is something that, that strengthens a person and gives them more depth. And that, that translates into all aspects of life. We wanted to also show issues that were important to the community, the challenge, actually. What is putting Garfuna culture and language in peril? Um, it's, it's health issues, it's economic issues, it's tourism, um, it's uh, transcontinental communication breakdown, it's, it's all kinds of things that people, uh, you know, these are issues that we're all dealing with. So we wanted to kind of demonstrate problems, but at the same time, give something positive, you know, the film shows kids that are learning the language and doing something with it. So we didn't want to just show uh, only the peril of it. The, the film really isn't just about the peril of it, it's actually about the triumph of embracing the language and the culture and doing something with it and knowing about the history and, and becoming someone new because of it. The Garifuna people uh, primarily reside in the coastal regions of Central America, Honduras, Belize, Guatemala, and Nicaragua, and now there's a large population in the United States, primarily in Los Angeles and New York, but also other major cities like Seattle, New Orleans, Chicago, Houston, and others that, I, that I'm not thinking of right now, but there is a, a worldwide population, including back in the island of St. Vincent, where the Garifuna originated from. Garifuna is the, is the child of the African and Carib Arawak mixture, and there's a whole beautiful history behind that, which the film touches on. It doesn't go into detail about it. Um, we're we're going to do another film that, that goes into the history, but Garifuna in Peril does have a historical component, where it gives you a little taste of where the Garifuna originally came from and the struggle that they went through um, in their migration to not only to Central America but to the United States. So um, the, film, the film deals with that a little bit and um, is, is enlightening in that sense. Los Angeles is a very interesting place with regards to the Garifuna community because it's uh, in Los Angeles Garifuna people work together whether you're from Belize, Honduras, Guatemala, Nicaragua everyone really doesn't really have a, have a, a barrier like I'm from this country or you're from this country or, or whatever everyone in Los Angeles has the identity that we're Garifuna and we work together so this film is a great example of that because there is there's actors from Honduras and Belize. The main, the main family, there's five characters in the main family, the husband and wife and their children. Two of the actors are from Honduras, two of the actors are from Belize, and one was born in the U.S. So this project was an attempt to really show that there's a diversity uh, of the Garifuna community in the United States and that, and that people work together. Um, a lot, most of the kids in the, in the play there's a play within the movie. Um, those kids are, a lot of them are from Belize, some are from Honduras, and there are others from the United States. So it's, um, this project is a great example of, of the kind of commingling of Garifuna from all different places. Part of the film is shot in uh, Triunfo de la Cruz, Honduras. And um, it was challenging, but 
it was made easier due to the fact that that is Ruben's hometown and his sister is a leader in the community. So we had um, we had the trust of a lot of people that wanted to be involved. We weren't they knew we weren't just someone coming in to to uh, film something and never to be heard from again. Um, they knew that it was something that was not um, using Garifuna culture, but that it was helping to grow the culture and it was something that was elevating the culture. So. We had a lot of support from the community in Honduras. Not everyone wanted to participate, of course, but those who did really got a lot out of it, I think. And um, we did go back um, a few months ago and show the film in Triunfo de la Cruz. Actually, they saw it before it was ever premiered in London or New York or anything like that. So people, people liked it a lot and they appreciated it. Um, so it was, it was a good experience, you know. It was, it was difficult because of conditions, you know, it's hot and um, we didn't have a lot of money, you know, and um, but people hung in there even though it was hot and uh, and we didn't have a, a big uh, catering truck or nothing like that, but um, people showed up and uh, were there for the crowd scenes and so forth. So we filmed kind of sporadically over about two months period and um, we were actually shooting um, scenes from part one and part two so we are looking forward to um, there will be a sequel to this film uh, coming up soon <laughs>